Welcome back to Trigon. In this episode, I am just going to show you some of Admiral Ivan's battle highlights. And I will show you the final battle of this chapter. And some tips for us beginners who want to enjoy this game. This is the current weapon loadout I use on my ship. This is not the best I think. But it works. Now currently in this first playthrough. The game limits you with only a few loadout options. We will do some in-depth weapon review in another video once I unlock all the weapons. For now let us look at the ones we got. The first one. The Twin Plasma Turret. You get this weapon when you start the game. I like this one. On first look. It doesn't do much damage. But. Take notice of the shots per round. It says 2. So this means. You multiply the damage stats by 2. You are dealing twice the damage in one round. What's also not so bad is the loading time of 4 seconds. If you want a constant barrage on the enemy ship's shield. This weapon is a good option. Next is a heavy plasma cannon. This one reloads slower with 7 seconds. But it packs a punch. Once it hits an enemy ship with its shield down. This will hit like a truck. Unlike the IO cluster rocket. This one don't use ammunition. The next one is optional. I use the thunderbolt rocket launcher. I chose this one because. I have two favorite rockets that I love to use. First is the IO cluster rocket. This one, like what I mentioned earlier is a hard hitting rocket. If I need to do some extra damage to hull, crew, and systems. This is an excellent option. And the other one is shockwave EMP rocket. Now. This rocket does not do a lot of damage. But. This one I believe has more tactical use than other rockets. This one we can use to disable their ship systems. You will notice in most of my enemy encounters. I usually target their armory module to disable their weapons from functioning. On some occasions, enemy ships have high level of armory module, that would be troublesome to take out. This where the EMP rocket shine. We can use the EMP rocket to disable their shield module for a few seconds. Then all weapons lock onto their armory module or use the EMP to disable their hyperdrive module. This will make them less evasive to your shots. And drain their shield hit point fast. Or we could also directly target their armory module with EMP rocket. And disable that instead.
If you have bought the cryo chamber upgrade for your ship at a space station, you can put up to three captured enemy crew in there and sell them at the bar at a space station to lower your bounty level. Speaking of bounty level, the higher the bounty you get means you will be battling more than one ship per encounter. Exciting! So far I have encountered 5 main quest lines on this playthrough. I have done the last 4 on episode 2. Let's head straight to the final quest cutscene.
skyboarded my ship through their teleporter without backup. I almost did not notice it. Bothersome alien. Now I need to wake up my warrior from cryo chamber to show him the way out of my ship before he gets lost. I was expecting more of a challenge when I went to face this final boss. Even though their ship had 500 HP. They kind of went down fast. I had more trouble with the random NPC encounters. Alright. Chapter 1 complete. Is this it? Let's check out the result for this chapter. Now if you liked the video, consider subscribing and press the like button. This will greatly help the channel out. And this will also let other people know about Trigon. I think this is really a great game. I am enjoying it so far. It is not that hard to understand. You just need a little time to know about this game. I will see you on the next episode. The journey continues. Thank you for watching.